Today's job is to replace this broken spring, garage door spring. We got a new spring. Probably should get that out of the box, make sure that's going to work. That'd be step one. Make sure your new spring matches up with your old spring. Here's my new spring. Uh, it matches up. It's a little longer, but this is a really old one. I, I think it's broken and then been shortened a little bit. And there is a right and left spring. You have to make sure that um, the coils spin the right way for what side of the door the spring goes on. This is a one car garage, one car door, and uh, it only has one spring. A lot of two car garage doors will have two springs, one on each side. It's been a while since I've done this. So obviously this needs to come loose. This needs to come loose. This pulley needs to come loose. Now this pulley over here also needs to come loose so that this axle here can slide through that, through the bearing, and this is, this is the other side. Uh, this comes off. When this gets slid this way, the springs come off, the new spring goes on, the pulley goes back on, goes back into the bearing, everything gets lined back up, and uh, then we'll mess around with tensioning the spring properly. So to loosen and tighten these square set screws, I'm just finding an open end wrench. Of course, I'm missing my hat. No, wait. Am I missing my half inch? 3 8 perfect fit. That's what we'll use to uh, loosen these up. The pulley has these um, set screws. The spring has these set screws. Right now, nothing's under spring tension, so things are relatively safe. <laughs> relatively. Yeah, they can get a little tricky when uh, you start winding that spring up. Um, I did this God, a long time ago. I can't remember how old I was. I think I just graduated college early 20s and messing with one and I had no idea what I was doing and I loosened these up oh, when the spring was under tension and I thought I had a pipe in it or something but anyways it came undone it was actually the the one that is on the end of the spring it came undone and just retell on my hand sliced me right open well, this is the other side this is the side where all this stuff's coming off. So this pulley's got to come off to get this spring off. So the, uh, where these set screws on the other uh, pulley were biting into the shaft, uh, kind of knurled it up a little bit and it's having some resistance sliding through that bearing over there. So I'm gonna go down to this side and maybe, I'll, maybe I can just give it a tap. But I wanna make, visually check it to make sure it's not getting too messed up. There you can see where um, little divots, where those set screws from this pulley on this side are. Just sliding through there. Um, I may pull it back out and get a file on that, file those down. Back to the other side. I'm 
Okay, so the spring is loose. It should be loose, yeah. Uh, pulleys are tightened in the same position, should be. If not, we'll adjust them. Now I gotta lower the door. And how's the door being held up? I just have a ratchet strap right there holding the door up. This door is heavy, even though this is a cheap, thin aluminum door, it gets heavy. So I'm gonna lower it right now. There we go, it's finally rolling. Okay, you need some bars to stick in here. Uh, mine are at home, so I'm improvising. I'm using my mud mixers. They fit in there pretty good, not perfect. Uh, there is a little bit of a danger zone factor here. So I'm gonna have to be paying attention. You guys might get, get to see some blood today. Get started here. Make sure this is loose. This is loose. That's a goose. This is the number one. So when that goes around, it's one turn. One turn. I'm going to go over the other side, get the cable on, cinch these things down, and then pull this bar out. I took the bars out, brought the doors up, and lashed it into the garage door opener. And, oops, and I'm gonna do this probably 10 times, 15 times, up and down, up and down. Uh, and then I'll probably go and check all my, uh, all the bolts, make sure those are still snug down. I don't know. I would suggest this as a DIY project. It's not very technically advanced, but if you make a mistake, uh, you could get hurt or someone else could get hurt. Or you could have a, the garage door come falling down on top of somebody. Uh, having, the, having it hooked up to a garage door opener, that looks like it might need to be tensioned. That looks a little floppy there. I might have to snug that up a little bit while I'm here. Just right. It's weird being here. This is like I'm in the city now. I got skyscrapers around me. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know if I already gave an outro. Uh, if you can afford it, I would pay someone to do this. If, <laughs> if you can't, watch a lot of videos. Watch a lot of different guys' technique for doing this. Um, not a professional garage door installer, repairman, uh, but I do enough to know my way around them and wanted to share my experience so that I wouldn't consider this a how-to video, maybe how not to, how not to do it right but get the job done. We'll go with that one. Give the video a like, share it, leave a comment, tell me how, how crazy I am. Goodbye.